Attack soon. Any day now? Caesar's going to try to march across Hoover Dam and kick NCR out of the Mojave. We're getting caught up in something important out here. Hell, after how you handled Benny, you're practically right in the middle of all this. I know I'm just along for the ride, but it's made me think about the past and how I might be able to help out. I wasn't always with the followers or with the NCR. My late father was an officer in a group called the Enclave, a remnant of America's pre-war government. Memories being short around here, not a whole lot of people remember them. But they did bad things. Terrorized communities, kidnapped people. Eventually someone stopped them. I was born a few years later at a military base on the coast, a place called Navarro. A lot of different places. I only know what I was told. Some of them were cut down by the NCR and the Brotherhood. Some of them went east. My mother never told me what happened to my father, but she and I went south with some others and integrated into the NCR. When the NCR learned that Enclave personnel had integrated, we kept moving to the fringes. It's one of the reasons why I wound up out here. After the Enclave's command structure fell apart, it was only a matter of time before Navarro was overrun by NCR forces. My mother and I left with some of the troopers from my father's old unit, the same people I've kept in contact with over the years. Anyone who didn't get out was killed by the NCR. Even some of the ones who escaped were eventually hunted down by the Brotherhood of Steel. The Enclave did a lot of bad things, but there were good people at Navarro. Good people with a lot of experience. Not many of them are alive anymore, but I think they can make a difference in the fight against Caesar. Great. I'd like you to talk to the old-timers, the remnants. I don't think I can convince them by myself. To them, I'm still a kid. But you're a big part of what's happening out here. When you talk to them, they'll understand how important this all is. I've kept in contact with them over the years, so I know where you can find them. But I doubt they'll open up to you unless I come along. I know I'm not always the most serious guy around, but this means a lot to me. Thanks. That top? Your travel's been going all right? Told you everything about us, did he? Well, it's been a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertebrate. There's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. But if I get one more chance to fly, count me in. I'll be there. My part of the passphrase is deer. Watch your six out there. Since my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, but lovers make poor confidants. Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something admittedly pretty bad, but it was something. If you spent the first half of your life flying Enclave troopers in a vertebrate, I suppose picking over pre-war rocket Well, stuff. it's about damn time. What took you... Oh. I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now, and I thought he'd finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. Thought I recognized the fellow with you? So what's this reunion all about then? Well, now there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, 
There's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is old. Appropriate, huh? If I had to pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. I wonder if he would. It's pointless, I know, but sometimes I wonder what he wanted me to be. Maybe being a doctor in the middle of Nevada wasn't exactly what he had in mind for his little boy. Ugh, oh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Been a while, Arcade. So, what's the point of all this? Can't find any younger mercenaries? You can thank the NCR for that one. Wait, this isn't on behalf of the NCR, is it? Yeah, it does. There's not a chance you'll find me helping the NCR in any way. They've caused me too much grief. All right, then. I'll show up at this gathering of yours. It might be good to see the others. Johnson excluded. Arcade might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My part is remember. <laughs> What's up? Moreno took the fall of the Enclave hard. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was doing. To him, it was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left Navarro, I remember looking up at Moreno. He said, Kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love in him burned itself out. Now there's just a bitter old man left. I suppose you're right. When you're part of something for that long, maybe it's impossible to let go without losing part of yourself. Moreno may be a stubborn son of a bitch, but at least he's loyal. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to Westside? Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? Swooping in on a vertebird, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years, but all right, I'm in. None of this means a thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up, though. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. Uh-huh. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years. And with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave, or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together but my family went through it too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Hello. Is there something else I can do for you? I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the past phrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super... Yes, yes. Oh. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. 
he had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. No one's going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. Glad to see you made it here all right. So, who are we going up against? Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing it. If Caesar's dead, why ain't the NCR taking care of regular folks yet? I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. Huh. Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Thanks for doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out of the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're gonna need every doctor they can get. Good point. You've been encouraging the others to stand up and fight. Maybe I should take the same advice. After all, I also lived in Navarro. There's something I need to go do, but I'll catch up with you later. Thanks again for your help with the others. It means a lot to me. Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch. But he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. I, I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. Since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. Here the Legion's fixing to attack Hoover Dam. Good thing I ain't there. Like I said, I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. Since you convinced me to help out with the defense of Hoover Dam, I figured I'd haul it out of storage. I'm a little rusty with it, but I think I can manage. As long as you got my back, of course. <laughs> 